So the last concept that we are uh, going to study is about the uh, conservation of mass. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer some uh, problems, a couple of problems. So number one, a fluid moves in a steady flow manner between two sections in a flow line. And uh, at section one, we have uh, area is equal to 10 square feet. So let's say this is our flow line. Okay. And it tapers down to uh, section 2 at uh, 2 square feet. Okay. This should be section 1. And this is section 2. Okay. So for section 1, we have a sub 1 is equal to 10 square feet. And a sub 2 is equal to 2 square feet. V sub 1, the velocity at section 1 is equal to 100 feet per minute. While uh, and then the uh, specific volume section one is four cubic feet per pound, and then at section two, uh, the only given are uh, the area and the density. So point two pounds per cubic feet. Okay. So by conservation of mass, it means that the mass at section one should be the same mass that would exit at section 2. So, by that definition, the formula for mass flow rate is simply rho 1 A1 times velocity 1, or even without the transcript, rho 1 A1, rho A N V. Okay? So, if we translate that to section 1 and 2, knowing that the mass flow rate at section 1 is uh, equal to the mass flow rate at section 2 by conservation mass, then Rho 1, A1, V1 is equal to Rho sub 2, A sub 2, and V sub 2. So let's go ahead and uh, apply these concepts to our problem. So the uh, mass flow rate, at uh, the mass flow rate of the system would simply be equal to Rho AV. And all of those informations are uh, found in section 1. So mass flow rate is equal to uh, rho, rho 1, A1, and V1. The density can be solved using the reciprocal of the specific volume. So that would be 1 fourth. So this is uh, already pounds per cubic feet because we, have already get, uh, we already got the reciprocal. And then the area is 10 square feet. Then the uh, velocity of the fluid is 100 feet per minute. Okay, so what are the units that uh, can be cancelled there? So feet uh, feet square and feet combined for feet cube, which will cancel this one. And the unit that would be left is pounds per minute. So mass flow rate would now be equal to Let's get our calculator. We have 10 times 100 divided by 4. So we have 250. So 250 pounds per minute. Okay. So, and then last, what is the uh, velocity or the speed of the fluid at section 2? So since we already have the mass flow rate, and we know that the mass flow rate is also equal to rho 2, A2 and V2, rho sub 2, A sub 2 and V sub 2. Then we can solve now for V sub 2, which is equal to the mass flow rate over rho 2 times A sub 2. So the mass flow rate that we have solved is equal to 250 pounds per minute. The density is equal to 0 0.2 pounds per cubic foot and the area is 2 square foot okay so the velocity that we will uh, obtain is now equal to so 250 divided by 0 0.2 times 2 okay and that is equal to 625 so what is the unit so here we can see that uh, pounds cancels out both are in pound mass, okay, those cancelled out. 
Then feet squared, this is uh, cubic feet. So the correct unit here is feet per minute. So that is our velocity at section 2. So let's go ahead with our next problem. So our next problem, you have if a pump discharges 75 gallons per minute of uh, water, whose specific weight is 61.5 pounds per cubic feet, at uh, G is equal to 31.95, find the mass flow rate in pounds per minute, okay, and the total time it would take to fill a vertical cylinder tank 10 foot in diameter, 10 feet in diameter, and 12 feet in height. So we have a pump. So let's say this is the, uh, that's our pump, no? And the amount of water, so that is the volume flow rate, okay? That is 75 gallons per minute, okay? The specific weight of uh, water in this case is equal to 61.5 pounds per cubic feet. And G is equal to 31.95 feet per second square. So what is the mass flow rate in pounds per minute? So the mass flow rate, the equation, the formula that uh, we have used for mass flow rate is rho AV, okay? Density times area times the uh, velocity of the fluid. Then I will introduce another formula or volume flow rate. Volume flow rate is equal to the area times velocity. So, mass flow rate, if I will substitute that in this equation, it will simply now be equal to the volume flow rate times the density. Okay? So, in the given, I have specific weight. Okay? And specific weight is equal to rho g over k, okay? This is the specific weight. So I can go ahead and solve for the density using the specific weight by the formula gamma k over g, okay? So if I will substitute gamma k over g, substitute that there, my formula for mass flow rate will now be volume flow rate times uh, gamma times k all over g okay so mass flow rate 75 gallons per minute so i have to convert the uh, gallons to cubic feet and the common conversion would be 7 uh, 7.48 gallons per 1 cubic feet Okay, 1 cubic feet is equal to 78, uh, 7.48 gallons per minute. So, I have here V and then gamma, the specific weight. So, gamma is equal to 61.5 pounds per cubic feet. Then, before we determine our K, G is equal to 31.95 feet per second square. Okay, so let's just uh, check our unit before we uh, input K. Gallons cancels out. Cubic feet, of course, cancels out. So we have here uh, 61.5. This this is in pound force. Okay. So, we have here on the denominator, uh, feet per second square. Now, if we want to solve for the, for the uh, mass flow rate in pounds per minute, okay, then we have to multiply 32.174. If we want to solve it in uh, slugs per minute, then the correct K would be 1, only 1, 1 slug per uh, pound force or something like so 32.174 pound mass feet over pound force second square okay so feet per second square cancels out 
Then, uh, pound force cancels out. So, what I have now is pound mass per minute. So, those are the two units that were left. So, mass flow rate is now equal to 75 times 61.5 times 32.174. Then, we divide that by 7.48. Then we divide that again with 31.95. Okay, and we get 620.97. 620.97 pounds per minute. Okay, so that is the answer for letter A. So letter B, what would be the total time? for the uh, for the pump to fill up a tank whose dimensions are 10 feet in diameter and 12 feet in height okay so let's just visualize that we have a tank so the height of the tank is 12 feet and the diameter of the tank is equal to 10 feet So therefore, the total volume of the tank would be equal to pi d squared over 4 times height. So pi times 10 squared times 12 all over 4. So the volume is equal to, so I have pi, pi, there you go, pi times 10 squared, so times 10 squared, and then times 12. Then we divide it by 4, so my volume is equal to 942.48. Cubic feet. Now, the volume flow rate of course, is equal to the total volume over time. So therefore, time should be uh, simply total volume over the volume flow rate. So my volume is 942.48 uh, cubic feet. And the volume flow rate is equal to 75 gallons per minute. Now, uh, I will use the conversion that, again, I will use the conversion similar to what I did here. 1 cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons. So, 1 cubic foot is 7.48 gallons. Okay? So, gallons cancels out, cubic foot cancels out, and the remaining unit is minutes. So time, the time in minutes would now be equal to 942. So let's just go ahead and divide that with 75 divided by 7.48. Okay, so the answer is equal to 93.99 or 93.97. 93, 93.997, 93.997, okay, or you can simply say that it is 94 minutes. Okay, so remember the formulas that we have used, mass flow rate is equal to rho AV. And then uh, the concept that at any two points of a flow line, the mass flow rate is constant. So we have A1, V1. Rho A1, V1 is equal to rho sub 2, A sub 2, V sub 2. And of course, uh, the last we have derived also that uh, we have also used the formula that the volume flow rate is equal to area times the velocity. So thank you for watching the video.